love new technology and that means that we all love the nest i've seen way too many occasions where people go out to the store and buy a nest just to get home and realize uh oh no common wire what to do now well i'm here to show you a couple tips and tricks so you can continue your love affair with the nest. Whatever you do, please don't return a thermostat to the store until you watch this video because more than likely you'll be able to get it to work. In this episode, I'm gonna be covering the following issues people run into most often when installing a nest. First problem I'm gonna help you with is the common wire problem. Now this is a very common problem with the nest. Common problem, common wire. We're gonna go to the base, remove it, and this is usually how the installation looks. Now what nest wants to happen um, in a perfect world, they actually want this to do something called power stealing, where it actually steals power from the air conditioning circuit. But depending on your furnace, some furnaces aren't compatible with this. What my technicians usually do when they're installing a nest and they have a four wire system is they go and take this green wire, they pull it off, get it out of there, and then they move this green wire over to the common terminal. And then we'll go to the furnace and we'll do the same thing. We'll move it from the green to the common terminal. And the reason that you don't need this green wire is that this terminal is more used when the thermostat has to control the fan for the system, which is usually like 2% or 1% of all the systems out there. This is for an older system that has separate fan control. And that, that's not very common nowadays. If you have a newer home or anything that was built in the last 20 years, it's in that 99 percentile. What that means is a more modern system. What happens here is when this wire here, the Y1 terminal, which is the cooling output, gets a signal. So pretty much the thermostat just closes the circuit between the yellow and the red wire. The control board actually has a built-in fan logic. So once it gets a signal on this wire, it turns on the condenser outside for the air conditioning and it runs the fan timer that's built into the control. And this is like 99% of those furnaces out there nowadays. So in this case, when you have a newer system, you don't need this wire. This is only if you want to turn on the fan, which the Nest only allows you to turn on the fan for like 10 or 15 minutes at a time anyway. For me, it's useless. I think this is more important having a common wire than having it hooked up to the fan. And the second problem is when the wire colors don't match that picture perfect wiring diagram that you see on the Nest website. Well, don't panic. Pretty much the wire colors don't really make a difference. They're all copper conductors. They're like twins except for the colors. They're only for identification. For instance, in this case, blue is Y1, brown is W1, black is common, and orange is RH. So any of these colors can be used for anything. All you need to do is get a pen and a paper and write down what terminal, what color is going to, go to the furnace and just make sure that they match. Hopefully I helped you fix those two most common problems with the Nest. Here's the Nest right here. Other than that, it's a great product, but with every great product comes certain challenges and those two are the most common. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below. We always need subscribers. It helps us make more videos like this to help people like you. Enjoy the nest. Enjoy life. Goodbye. It's just like plugging into a light bulb. And just pretend this is the nest thermostat. It's like you're plugging positive and negative. The other way, they're actually using the circuit from the air conditioner to charge the thermostat through the circuitry of this board, which in my opinion isn't a good idea at all. Focus. Come on, focus, focus. They don't, they don't cooperate. I bought you for a reason.